at the nexus of Los Angeles nightlife, theater, and shopping, nestled inside the Sofitel Hotel on Beverly Boulevard, is Simon L.A., home to the rock and roll chef, Carrie Simon. His Hollywood take on classic American comfort food causes celebrities to air guitar. Sarah from Average Betty here, and I am with Chef Carrie Simon at Simon L.A. Chef, thanks for being with me today. My pleasure. It's nice to be here. What is the first thing you're going to be making for us? We're going to do a tuna dynamite with a chili aioli. Yum. Well, let's, yeah. let's get cooking. All right. We have these boxes that say Simon L.A. on them. We got these from Nobu. He gave them to me as a gift for opening the restaurant. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty cool, right? What do you call this little apparatus? It is a sake box, but we ended up making box. tuna dynamite with it. Can you make a sake bomb in a sake box? You probably could. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to jump in here. We just take the rice, put it in the bottom here. Keep your fingers wet to form the rice. So have you ever rolled sushi with Nobu? No, I mean, I've done a bunch of dinners with him. We actually did an event for the Dalai Lama in New York City one time. Wow. Yeah, it was pretty cool. You want to, like, push it down so it really firms up. You don't want it to be too thick, either. You don't want to squash the rice. You just want it to be firm. Then we take tuna. Rolling Stone magazine coined you the rock and roll chef because you installed smoke machines and laser beams in your kitchen. Is that true? <laughs> There's no truth to that rumor. <laughs> so you want to squeeze that in. Wow, that's some fresh looking tuna. Yeah, the important part about it is getting sushi grade tuna and you can go to any of your stores or fish market and ask them for sushi grade tuna. They let them know you're gonna eat it partly raw. Here we go, a little more rice. So this is totally one of your signature dishes. Do you remember when you created this? It was kind of a fluke, I think. A fluke? <laughs> it was kind of one of those things that we just were fooling around with and uh, ran it as a special, and the reaction was big, and so we kept it on. What makes your version of Hollywood comfort food more comforting than regular comfort food? Uh, that's a tough question, <laughs> isn't it? Uh, I don't know, I just do what I feel comfortable with. Let me just fold that over. And that's it for the formation of it. So, there you have it. Nice. That's Oops. the start. It's the foundation. The foundation. Is headbanging allowed in this kitchen? Uh, you might be able to get away with it. <laughs> so this is the crab with the uh, chili aioli mayonnaise. And we just stick it on there. And we're going to put this under the salamander and glaze it. How hot does a salamander get? The actual broiler, it gets up to uh, like 1,200 degrees. That's dynamite. Yeah, that is. Now we just put that under the salamander and uh, we wait. You kind of brought back the chef's table. Can you describe like what a chef's table is? Well, it was like uh, basically I was eating there one time by myself and a friend of mine came in and said, can we eat in here? And so it sort of turned into that and we just uh, went from there. It was people were booking it and it's more of an intimate connection with the restaurant, with the yeah. kitchen. We cook for them, I talk to them about what dish they want, and it's you can eat veg, one person will be vegetarian, one person will be eating seafood. And it was a lot of fun, but very challenging too, because we had the regular restaurant going on as well. And you had like, what, David Bowie and Amon getting right. engaged, or anything, every day was very different. We got a nice glaze going on there. You're gonna have hot, cold, crispy. It's kind of a sexy dish. I'll say. There we go. Wow, that looks amazing. Wow, it smells really good too. Ooh, Woo! It's hot. Dynamite! <laughs> Is there a salt shaker on the chef's table? Uh, no, but they can have what. <laughs> I'm a kind of a chef where you can have whatever you want. And we have this soy caramel sauce. Soy caramel sauce? Yeah. Wow. Sweet soy, actually. It's an uh, important part of it, actually. And then we take the uh, sesame seeds, and there you have it. I can't wait to take a bite of that, I'll tell you. You want to try it <laughs> oh, now yeah. Or what? yeah. Definitely. Wow, look at that. Yeah, go for it. So you see the rawness of the yes. tuna in there? Yes, yes. They're all watching. Mmm. Wow. That's the first um, little bite of Perry Simon I ever had. Oh. <laughs> And it's certainly my favorite. Next time you're in Los Angeles, stay at the Sofitel and dine at Simon LA. Mmm, thank you, Curry Simon. You're very welcome. Oh. <laughs> Hold on, I'm sorry, we were not paying attention. <laughs> <laughs>